Hey everyone, it's Amberly and Ken. So, yesterday we went shopping and we picked up a whole bunch of PJ pants and I got some new slippers and I got earplugs because somebody talks in their sleep. I'm sorry. But then we also picked up this. We decided it was about time for us to get a water sprayer. Um, it's really hard trying to use that little thing. Uh, after doing about 11 drawers, that really takes a toll on my hands. So, we got the water pumpy, like the professionals. I feel so legit now. Apparently, it, uh, we got it at Lowe's. It was about 15 bucks. It holds two gallons. It's good for spraying water. It has a anti-clog filter, large funnel top opening, and ergo pump handle. So, let's see, what else does it have? Um, it has <clears throat> a spray handle, adjustable nozzle, and... Basically, it's really cool because you can adjust the spray. It does what we want. It's not exactly special, but we feel like really legit with it. So, then we went to Hoss's. And he got the burger, and I got a big ass steak. It was really good. And then, where did we go after that, Ken? Uh, Petco. And they were having a Black Friday sale, sort of. It was all weekend. And we got 50% off some new reptiles. And by some, we mean how many? Uh, three. Three. Corn snakes. Corn snakes. Something new. Something new. We've never done corns before, but we decided that... Well, I decided I really wanted to get into corns as well as ball pythons. I may be looking into boas in the next couple years. <laughs> Getting a little ahead of ourselves, dear. Yeah, I know. There's Philomena. She's always out and doing this. But, uh, we're kind of new to corns. We have enough research under our belt to know how to take care of them properly. There's the feeding chart, um, you know, they're burrowers, so we have lots of nice soft aspen in there for them. Do you want to show off what we got? Sure, what do we want to start with? It doesn't matter. Whatever one you can find first. <laughs> so, oh. <clears throat> there's that one. Look who's on top. We think this guy, we weighed him last night, and he weighs about 14 grams. Which is so weird whenever we weigh, like, Emma, who's, like, 1,600 plus. And we think this one is... What is it? Hypomelanistic? Hypomelanistic or possibly blood red. It's... Yeah. We're very... Oh, jeez. We're very new to the corn snakes, so... I guess we could show off some of the features. Maybe somebody out there could help us try to figure out what this one is. Um, the lighting's not great. Let's see. There we go. It has... Oh, hi. <laughs> um, it doesn't have the albino eyes. It has black eyes with the uh, brown around them. It's basically just like black, white, and orange. Or, yeah, Wait, no. Black, red, and orange. Black. It has very faint... <laughs> gee. Very faint black outline around its uh, red spots. It's orange. Very orange. And I don't know if the head patterns mean anything, but that one has two dots. It doesn't have the cool little other pattern. That's really cool. Also, it has no ventral pattern. Um... It doesn't have that corn snakey kind of pattern. Whoa. <laughs> so, we're pretty sure this one's a female, just by judging on the length of the tails and how they taper. 
we aren't really comfortable with popping them. This is the biggest one, and even then, it, it's tiny. We're kind of we don't even have a probe that small. So, if anybody could help us out uh, getting some genetics on these guys, it'd be really great. We haven't named them because we don't know their genders. So that's a really pretty guy. Girl? <laughs> yeah. He's, they're sweethearts. They're so adorable. Just a little fast. Oh yeah. A little hard to get Definitely used to. faster than the ball pythons. So alright, let's find another one. see. They like to burrow. We have uh, aspen and some moss in the back for humidity. And uh, maybe we can find one. Oh, I think you found one. Oh, that's like the rosy one. This is so, one of your favorites. Yeah, this one's probably like my favorite just because it looks so cool. Um, she has the albino eyes. You can kind of see the head pattern. And we think maybe she's a coral snow. Uh, she's very pink. And in the camera it looks like she's more like almost like a candy cane or something. But she has this orange spotty. But she's, she's very pink. Her whole body is just really pink. It looks yellow in the lens right now for some reason, but she's just all pink. And she has very slight ventral pattern going on. Um, it's very small. Or slight, rather. There's a black spot that we're not quite sure if it's... Yeah. If anyone knows about this black spot, please let us know, because we're brand new to corns, as we said, and not 100% sure. But it's some sort of snow. We think it may be a coral snow just because she's so pink. And uh, she's very, very, very beautiful. She's so, a little more docile than Oh, yeah, than she's the definitely others. the calmest. The, the blackish one, he's the most feisty. He actually bit his own tail yesterday when we picked him up. We think this one's a female, too. Um, let's look at the possible male, if we can find him. May it take me a minute? Oh, yeah. Please. They're really hard to find. Uh, they won't be hard to find later. Yeah, hopefully they'll get, like, really big and it'll be easier. Uh, they get three to five feet. Yeah. So right now we do have them all together in a rack drawer. We are considering definitely getting them their own rack drawers, but it's going to take a little bit. Just because we have no more room right now. And once we get more room, we may end up having to put them in a tank. Seems like they do better in tanks. This guy also has normal eyes, the black with the uh, brown. It's almost like an amber color. It's really pretty, actually. Now, we think this one's just a normal. Um, he's our... Oh, my goodness! He's our little escape artist. He is definitely the feistiest. Oh, wow. He's twitching. So, there you can see the head pattern. He has these... Uh, black spots that actually have red in them and then a bunch of these orange he's very orange up top but then he kind of fades out to like a gray but he still has that uh black and red it's almost like a reverse red tail boa is what it reminded me of and then he definitely has the uh, really awesome ventral pattern so if anybody has any idea of what this is, we'd be grateful. He is calming down a little bit, thank god. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he's definitely our most active. He just wants to go all the time. Alrighty, so we'll put him back. 
Oh, he likes my new slippers too. And we'll get you put to bed. Yes, they are way faster than the balls. Oh my god. They can get pretty fast too sometimes. But... Yeah. I don't think any of them really take off except for maybe Herc. He likes to go. So, we're getting into corns. A little earlier than we were expecting. Well, they were 50% off. <laughs> Got a great deal on all of them. They were only 25 bucks a piece with the deal, with the Pals, Petco Pals card. You excited to maybe start getting into corns? Maybe uh, two breeding seasons from now? What, well, at least with those guys, they're way too small. I'm a little then, excited. I'm just kind of wondering on space. Yeah. We're probably going to have to get a baby rack, too. No, start saving. <sighs> yeah. Of course. And then maybe we could get boas in like <laughs> four or five years. <laughs> four or five. Let's uh well let's work on these guys first. Yeah, okay. Because we're gonna run out of space eventually. Yeah, I know. But And being that we only have one tiny little incubator, which did you show them yet? I don't remember. But we will have to do a video on that. So. Alright, those were our new corns and our new sprayer. Hopefully somebody can help us out with some of the genetics. Yeah, we tried to find a genetics calculator and it was very different from the ball pythons. And we're really kind of lost, so we'd be grateful. Alright, anything else? I don't think so. Alright, thanks a lot guys, and have a nice day. Hey guys, if you liked that video, check out our other videos. Also, don't forget to rate and subscribe and comment and all that down below. And Chester says please. please.